Microsoft Teams access to work, school, and personal accounts is coming to a new single desktop app. So starting in April, Microsoft is rolling out the Teams desktop app for Windows and Mac that will allow users to access any type of Teams account, work, school, or personal, mm -hmm. and admins can control their user signing capabilities via group policies. So users will be able to log in using one Teams client, and it will essentially address that what's your at at the end of the email address. Is it your right. UPN? Is it your personal address? And once you log in, it'll just automatically take you to the right account, which, you know, it's right. from a usability standpoint, that's a huge plus. The one thing that I don't think that I saw in either of these messages was how are they going to clean up the old version? Um, right. And I get the feeling, so I was talking about this on our, one of my Friday calls about, hey, how do we clean up the old version of Teams? And Microsoft does have an article up there for how you get rid of the older version okay. of Teams once users have switched over. I'll right. grab a link and I'll put that in the show notes. But from a, from a consumer perspective or even a prosumer perspective that doesn't have a dedicated IT department is it doesn't seem like there is a solution to you know, get rid of the old version. It lives in right. your app data. So after a while, I think that it would probably just become inactive and you'd be able to clean mm -hmm. it up. But yeah, to be aware that there probably will be a residual for an IT admin to clean up. Or if you're using this right. on your own personal computer or you have like a BYOD policy at work where you use your own computer and you just, you know, you have it joined to Microsoft Intune or another IBM yep. solution is there probably will be some cleanup for those people. But again, coming relatively soon here as we right. kind of lurch into May and June is we are going to see a single desktop experience for, for teams starting with the rename. So I actually use, so I'm, I'm really lucky as, you know, as you are, as, as a consultant, I not only will get guest access in a lot of client environments, right? So in a single Teams app, single mm -hmm. window, I can switch contacts, like I can switch organizations using my single account that I log in with, right? So I can move from client A to client B back to, back to my home base in a single window, it's great. This experience, I also have a couple of accounts where I'm not a guest. I actually have my own whole account in that organization. It is awesome because it fits right in line with all of that other stuff. Um, I can see notifications from those other environments. I can reply to chats in those other environments. It's one window to rule them all. And that's really the vision of Teams, I think. So I th feel like Microsoft is is getting back to the point with a couple of of these Teams changes. And again, I'll 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 continue to say it's not scary to switch to the new Teams. Probably a lot of people in your organization, if you've showed them that toggle button, they've turned it on already. It's it's time to you know roll all the way over yeah. into the new Teams and and continue to get these feature updates. Yeah. And I feel like we've talked about that a lot over the past few years is that Microsoft really sees team as that new central hub, like they saw Outlook mm -hmm. for 20 years, is they want everyone working off that single pane of glass in there. I don't think that they've fully gotten there yet. And to be completely honest, I don't think that they will ever get there until Outlook <laughs> is somehow incorporated. <laughs> yeah. So everything's there. But I mean, with the with the new web two with the new web two view for teams. And what they're doing it's without more and more paying possible. attention is it's getting more, it's getting closer and closer right. to being that one unified app. It's just not right. there yet. Honestly, I hope that one day I can just get my email in a tab in Teams because then I won't go back to Outlook for anything at that right. point. Right. That's and and like this, you know, can I view my Outlook email in Teams? This is a question we've gotten since day one of Teams. So uh, we get it constantly as organizations teams adoption starts to heat up. So one of the things that I think you can see as someone who has used the new Outlook, I can see it, is that web 2.0 view of things. That is the goal, right? Yep. We have parity across all apps, no matter the operating system, no matter the context that they're viewed in. And we start to have those merge points, right? Between, you know, we we can't and um, we can't have Outlook email in Teams until everything is in that sort of, you know, 2.0 phase, which is still years away, 
you know, we're, we're still, we're still waiting, but fingers crossed. This is all, well, you know, it's all it, moving towards something. If you're, if you're creative enough, I'm sure that you can figure out how to get to your outlook in your teams right now. Yeah. Um, I, I certainly did a year ago, but it wasn't a very good experience. So right. Right. It, it's, it's getting there and it'll be there yeah. soon.